You look at me like, you're too tedious. <laughs> Listen to me. There's a reason why I bring out this point. So here we go. So they're all walking, and then suddenly, they realize they've got clams. Can you imagine? Wow. But then look at this. Verse 15. And one of them, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turn back. Ah, see that word turn back? Turn back meaning they were walking away from Jesus. Turn back. Okay? And then it says, and with a loud voice, glorify God. Not only glorify God as he turned back, but verse 16, and fell down at his what? Face at it. His feet. So when, he, when the Bible says he turned back, not only turned back and cried out, he turned back and what did he do? He came to Jesus. He came back to Jesus. He came back to Jesus. You can easily say, oh, I'm almost there. Yeah. I'll get back to you later, okay? <laughs> yes? But, no. He decided that thanking Jesus is more important than to receive a declaration from a priest. Yes or no? Yes. But you know, Jesus, sometimes is funny. Very funny. Look right. By the way, the Bible says, and he was a what? Samaritan. Samaritan. That means most likely other nine were not Samaritan. Other nine Jews. Jews, Galileans. But the Samaritan came back. Look at this. Verse 17. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? He says, where are the nine? Based upon that expression, that question, Jesus was expecting what? All ten, All ten to what? Return. Return. If I was there standing, I'd be like, you asking for nine? You asked them to go. <laughs> but you, you said, go. But now you're expecting, come back? Make up your mind, please. <laughs> what is this? Like, are you like a woman saying this, but having this feeling? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus and woman, they're more like... <laughs> okay, you're not going to see me after the sermon. <laughs> but come on, come on, get over it. You know how men are. We're very simple. We think one thing at a time. But the ladies are more intellect and more smart. They think multiple things at one time. <laughs> that is. Get over it. Get over it. But you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Jesus said, go show yourselves a priest. But, only one, but, but when only one came back, he's like, why the nine? It's like, are you expecting the nine to come back too? That's what it sounds like, right? Yeah. So then, if that... Obviously, that was his desire. Then why did he say, go show yourself to the priest? Why? 
May I suggest it was a test? What test? When 10 people cry out, and most likely we can see it very clearly, clearly now, that ten among 10, those 10 lepers, Jews and Samaritans. This is the only time they got together united. <laughs> yeah. They, got, you know, they, got, they learned to eat together, talk together, but when they're clean, they hate each other. So what's better, hate clean or love and dirty? <laughs> so, so, but here, it shows something different about this man. And here's the reason why. When 10 people cry out for Jesus, have mercy on us. They all had one voice, one purpose, one desire, to be cleansed. Jesus, willing to grant their desire. However, that's not the reason why Jesus came to this world. Jesus came to help people to know the Son of God. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, it sounded as though all they want was cleansing. But when one returned, he wanted more than cleansing. Mm -hmm. You know what that was? I really need to know that person. Mm -hmm. He want more than cleansing. He want more than my life to be better. Many people come to the church to have a better life. I'm sick. Please heal me. My business is in trouble, please, oh God. My, ch my child is in the hospital, please. I'm socially deprived, please God help me. And there are many other reasons why people come. People come to have better life in this world. But this one Samaritan, he turned back. Why? He wants to know Jesus. He wants to thank him. He wants to have a relationship with this man who touched him without touching him. And this man was willing to delay his declaration. He is willing to delay his declaration to spend more time with Jesus. But the question is, why the nine do not turn back? Why? They all could have said, hey, look at you, look at me. Wow, this is incredible. Thank God, praise the Lord. God has mercy upon us. Let's go thank him as a group. Why do they continue to walk? You know why? Because to receive the declaration of being cleansed is so important to them. The ceremonial law requirement was more important. Religious duty was more important than to meet Jesus one to one. <laughs> That's the reason why I believe Jesus said, I know what you guys are thinking. All you want is cleansed. But I see one person who has a willing heart. But Jesus cannot say, 
Uh, the one Samaritan, step four. The other nine, step back, please. <laughs> other nine, walk. You know, <laughs> take walk. You get better. You get your. You get what you want. But the one that you, I know who you are. You love me so, right? Come on, let's talk to each other. Amen. Jesus cannot say like that. If he does that, that means he is what? He is doing this false teaching of predestination. It's like he's selecting someone to be saved and selecting people to be lost. You cannot do that. Jesus does not believe in predestination, the false teaching way. So Jesus said to everybody, go show yourself to the priest. And I know only the one that is sincerely thankful will return. To me, this has so much significance. Here are the reasons why. The Bible said he turned back and gave, giving God the glory. And not only that, look at this. Verse 18. There are not found that return to what? Give glory to God, save this stranger. stranger. Stranger, meaning Gentile. And this Gentile returned. In spiritually speaking, return, repent. Truly, to, to change his course. And this Gentile returned and giving God the what? Glory. glory. And give God glory is a, is a part of the first angel's message. Fear God and give glory to Him. For the hour of His judgment. And the word judgment means to cut. And somehow this test made this cut. Judgment. Those who are for the ceremonial old covenant law mm -hmm. and, and the one that is truly open to the new covenant Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and he's one that giving God true glory Amen. and what's interesting he's only one which means one out of ten which means ten percent which means remnant it be, they begin with ten, but only one remain. Yes. So, it was a great judgment in disguise of healing. Mm. Today, my friends, you know, when you watch, especially those people that are sick, it is easy for them to give praise to our health message. They praise God, they, they praise carrot juice. <laughs> they praise brown rice. And they praise eight glasses of water. They praise exercise. Are you with me? Sounds just like Belshazzar praising gold and silver and brass and wood and rock and praising things. It's okay to improve your life, but you're missing out if you do not know Jesus. But how do you need to know Jesus? You think, I know Jesus. I know he got resurrected. I know he died. And I know he's coming back. I know he's our high priest. So I know about Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know Jesus like this leper? Leper who felt he was really dirty, unclean, but he got cleansed. I'm not talking about do you know where he is, when he's coming back, and what he's doing. I'm asking, do you know him? Have you ever been touched by Jesus? Have you ever identified your uncleanness and to allow Jesus to cleanse that? Have you been touched by God? And this man, look at this, verse 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, 
Thy faith hath made thee well. 